Hi, uh, Jackson Fike here. I am doing a TED Talk, and I apologize if you have some notes in front of me to keep you straight, but um, my TED Talk is going to be about why diversity in classrooms, um, why I believe it's very essential, and I believe that because of four main ideas, um, or three main ideas, sorry, innovation, confidence in student performance, as well as lifelong learners. Um, so the first reason is because of innovation. So this quote that I found says, decades, decades of research by organizational scientists, psychologists, sociologists, ec economists, and demographers show that socially diverse groups, that is, those with a diversity of race, ethnicity, gender, or sexual orientation, are more innovative than homogenous groups. I think this is a uh, key quote from the Scientific American um, that really delves into why diversity is essential in classroom settings, um, not only as teachers, but as students as well. Why, you know, we'd rather be in a more diverse setting than a more homogenous setting is because of this reason right here. You have more innovative groups, and I think this is because this changes the way that we approach, approach most issues um, in a classroom setting, whether that be, you know, me as a teacher or the students, they learn to uh, think as a collective group rather than you know, if you just have a bunch of people from the same background, then they're all going to have one idea of the world versus if you have a um, very diverse classroom setting or that goes for anything. As a matter of fact, you know, if you're in a group of people and it's more diverse versus more homogenous, you're going to be more, more innovative and more, um, more available to teach and um, believe in different perspectives. Uh, the second point was confidence in student performance. Um, this is another huge thing. Um, I found a quote from the Century Foundation, actually, uh, that says, students who attended a magnet school in Hartford, Connecticut, that was required to meet racial integration standards to the lottery system, outperformed students at suburban school that a higher percentage of affluent white students on standardized test scores. So, I think this, you know, this and the last quote from the Scientific American, by the way, that was from the Century Foundation. Um, I mean, with those two quotes, honestly, I don't understand how anybody could think that a homogenous group would be better off than a more diverse group in the classroom or in any setting, whether that be a group of teachers or a group of students. Um, it's obvious, you know, different perspectives, communication skills, you can discuss more openly with um, different people. You know, I'd rather have a, a discussion with somebody different from me about, you know, how they view life and how they um, think of different ideas than I do because if I'm talking to somebody that I know and I know how they believe already, then why am I going to want to hear how they already um, discuss things? And so I think that's important to teach our students as well as how to have those discussions with other people that are diverse from us to get those different opinions across and say how can we either you know meet in the middle to come to a common ground whether if it's an argument or if it's we're trying to achieve one goal it again goes back to the innovation of saying why can we not take both of our ideas and put them together for a more innovative idea that maybe hasn't been seen before um, so I think that's a very important um, thing as well that not only increases innovation but also increases confidence for our students in the classroom where they can have the confidence to discuss these things and obviously um, like we see in Connecticut they can outperform students that are in then are in more homogenous groups my last point um, is that this, this makes us as teachers as well as students allows them to be more lifelong learners um, because no matter where you're gonna go, you know, I grew up in a very, in a high school with very homogenous uh, setting. We didn't have a lot of diversity, but I was originally um, subject to this when I came to college and realized how diverse our world really is and why all these different opinions matter. Um, so I think that's where I really became a lifelong learner at, at, in this aspect, saying that, you know, there are all these different opinions in the world. Why would I focus on one when there are tens of thousands of millions different perspectives throughout the world um, and I think that's a huge thing that kind of puts all of those points together the innovation the confidence and performance saying that 
why not be a lifelong learner? And we can teach our students to be that. That way, they're never going to stop learning. They're never going to want to stop um, looking for new perspectives. And as we all know, the more perspectives you have, the better conclusion you can have on a topic, the better summary you can make on something, because you have the opinions of all of these different perspectives. And again, I keep using the word perspectives, but I think that really hones in on what um, diversity means for us, um, for me, you know, as speaking as a, a white, blonde male. Um, but I think it really can help everybody out because, again, it makes us more innovative um, by showing we can change how we approach ideas. Um, it obviously shows confidence and performance by um, allowing our students to have these discussions about diversity as well as they can outperform because they have these different perspectives and they know where these other people are coming from. And lastly, because of, like I said, being lifelong learners and that can help them later in life, um, you know, always hunger for that knowledge of different viewpoints, different perspectives, um, whatever it may be. So that is why I think diversity in classrooms is essential. Again, because of those three points, innovation, confidence, and performance in the classroom setting as well as creating them to be lifelong learners. Also, I apologize for the um, background noise, but I did shut my door, but my roommates are really loud, so I did this a couple takes, but I apologize.